Hello everyone and now welcome. Welcome to a game between Kamiko versus Lala. Yet first things first, thank you Suna Hero for uh, subscribing to me even though I was not currently streaming. Um, yeah, every little bit of help, every little bit of support helps. And for all you guys out there watching on YouTube, which I assume soon a hero was doing, um, yeah, you can go ahead and just subscribe to me on Twitch. If you already have Amazon Prime, you already have a free Twitch Prime subscription that you can use every month to support your favorite content producers here on Twitch. Um, every little bit goes back to, well, either improving the stream, getting um, getting new computers, components, things of that nature, paying the bills, um, putting stomach in this belly, you know, that sort of thing. I don't know, it feels kind of strange to say, like, yeah, every, every little bit goes back to the stream. Like, I know that's not 100% the case, uh, but... Well, it does definitely support the stream because it supports me. Let's go ahead and jump right into this game here. This game is Kamiko versus La La Yet taking place here on Last Refuge. This is from DreamHack uh, Warcraft 3 Open 2020, the regional championships in Asia. As we're looking at Archmage getting trained up here, going up against, well, it looks as though an Altar of Elders and it is delayed. So we could be having a Beastmaster with a bunch of Archers. That could be the strategy that we're looking at here in just a moment. We are going to be perhaps going into an Archmage down off over here. Archmage alongside some footmen for some early, early aggressive creeping. And while we could be looking at at least two to three Archers already out here, at the two minute 15 minute mark by the time that well that tavern hero whichever tavern hero is chosen joins in on the fight all right footman hanging around over here trying to push back that wisp footman gonna perhaps try and aggro those creeps gonna go ahead and engage here in just a second very very close the wisp may try and actually try and hire up that four shoal shadow priest gonna go ahead and engage now try and run away you see all of the units re are chasing here as the forest troll high priest is gonna try and heal up that unit there goes an ensnare forest troll shadow priest however grabbed by kamiko which could really cause a lot of problems are we gonna see an abolish magic no we are not kamiko now being forced to retreat back with that water elemental gonna end up getting that taken down as well as the water elemental well as the water elemental is lost from a detonation and from a lot of damage thereby disrupting much of that healing beastmaster already trained up here gonna be heading off to the north let's see what hero what what skill is gonna be used here as we are now only going into two archers, not the, the three that I thought we would be looking at. And the Beastmaster taking a little bit of damage too. Beastmaster opening up with bear first. Early bears here with archers, a very strong front line dealing damage. Meanwhile, Kamiko is trying to punish his opponent by pretty much doing the exact same thing that was done to him. A lot of harassment. All right, we're looking at the Beastmaster trying to retreat back already. Archmage sitting at level one. Are we going to see perhaps that Ancient of War get taken down? Ancient of War is getting repaired quite a bit. Bear now going to get ensnared. And perhaps damage on that bear could get taken up as well. Ancient of War trying to continue to engage. Units are going to try and back away. There's some aggregate of more creeps as more ensnares are getting thrown down in this crazy crazy gauntlet murloc nightcrawler gonna turn back around here more damage back onto that beastmaster beastmaster trying to chase after a low hit point footman footman down to 170 hit points able to retreat away as the action still focuses mainly on the archmage and those footmen the remainder of that creep camp has yet to be cleared out and what we thought was going to be or what i thought was going to be a very fast uh, leveling up by both players has instead turned into a double harassment players all the way by both players now as militia are trying to clear away creep camps away from the action and the archmage now with boots of speed able to catch up to his opponent here all right off to the north you're taking a look ancient of war has been fully repaired and um, well, there's a forest troll shadow priest perhaps it's going to take a little bit more damage kamiko was hoping to catch la lai at with a well a little lot of creeping that is not going to be the case no additional creeping there to help bolster that damage archmage still running around once more 
Archmage while Ancient of War in that frontline spot. Beastmaster picking up Claws of Attack plus five. More damage getting thrown down here. Force Troll Shadow Priest could end up while getting an Abolished Magic. No, no Abolished Magic. Archer is going to Shadow Meld. And because the Ensnare is from the Creeps, it is not actually revealed to Kamiko at this time. Archer finished done Shadow Melding here. Archmage taking quite a bit of damage. There's some more detonations coming back again as we see more Abolished Magic or something that was able to stop that Archmage in its track. Lali Ed getting quite a bit of a lead now as a footman being left behind to trail the group. A new footman taking its place, take, throwing its body on the line to well, try and get a victory here. Footman now trying to just completely retreat back once more. Where's that Archmage going? Kamiko without level two, without brilliance or a trying to make plays happen. That's not going to work out well, especially as, oh, we couldn't see a wisp block right there. Another round of attacks coming back through again. Another two arrows coming across as the Archmage. Now a little bit worse for, worse for wear. 29 supply compared to 32. We are looking at, what, 19... 19 supply army compared to 15. Are we getting those dual ancients of lore? We should be. We are at Tree of Ages already as the Beastmaster is now in that frontline spot taking, well, a little bit more damage again. Meanwhile, Archmage still running around the tier 2 completed. Priest getting added in and a Blood Mage second. All right, Blood Mage second, not what I was expecting at all. Already transitioning into Rifleman as the Archmage going after Forest Troll High Priest or should be able to finish it off. A couple of priests need to be joining in on the fight. Double Priest perhaps getting the spell magic as well. Getting that Adept training going to be incredibly important. Sentry Ward's also going to get trained up here as well as the Beastmaster sitting at level 3 already with a Sobi Mask. Going to be able to overcome some of those mana issues. Issues. Sentry Ward right there dropping a level 2 water elemental trying to disrupt as well. There goes more damage again. Are we looking at more damage coming back across Bear down to 74 down to 50 hit points? Gonna try and retreat a once more. The Ogre Magi was already taken down, getting a wand of mana stealing. So wand of mana stealing right there. More damage getting added in. There's a little bit more steal as well. As Lala yet just wants to finish creeping out this creep camp. Only one priest and a whole bunch of targets to try and heal up here. As the Blood Mage going to be coming in around the corner now in just a moment. More ensnares getting thrown down. More damage getting added in across Footman trying to retreat back. Blood Mage showing up onto the battlefield. One very low on mana. Uh, priest and a bunch of bears just going to perhaps go after all of these units. As 1-0 upgrades are already down. There goes a Deny Rifleman turning around saying, You know what? I'm sorry, brother in arms um, you'd rather die at my hands than the other way as we are looking at the bears the raging bears with those bashes causing in some problems all right la la yet is he going to try and close in on this distance no he is not no siphon mana It'll, it, into the archmage there we go finally seeing the siphon mana into the archmage a new water elemental should be dropped as siphon mana should be now be coming in from that ogre magi perhaps a shifting target don't take it down yet while you're still siphoning mana away as that blood mage could have gotten a bit more mana if you just decided to go after the trappers instead Home of Agility plus two, a little bit of additional armor there. Meanwhile, Beastmaster already sitting at level four. Double Wand of Mana, or that one of Mana Stealing. I'm, I don't know if it was sold. It might have been sold there. As we're looking at the units now make their way back out. All right, Tome of Intelligence. Can we go ahead and pick that up? Get more intelligence on the Beastmaster, which is so needed as it now goes into, well, Squirrel of Town Portal to retreat back here. All right, level two, level one hero going up against a level four footman. Do not have defend as well. That would be an incredibly useful ability. Now, ancient protectors are getting added as we are going into bears. Blood Mage in that frontline spot has plenty of mana to go. We are now going into towers. La Layette may be able to catch his opponent off guard with a tower attempt here, a classic tower attempt. And now, no more mana at all. We are looking at a roar, so the, the defense should be fairly strong here as more water elementals are going to be joining in on. On the battle more abolished magic as well that forest troll shadow priest really causing quite a bit of problems as the scout tower already upgrading to arcane 
Blood Mage trying to hang back here. Quill Beast going to try and get some damage here. Are we going to get some more Siphon mana? Yes, we are. Again, for sure, Shadow Priest may try and abolish magic, that Water Elemental. Are we perhaps going to get some abolish or some Siphon mana from that for sure, Shadow Priest? More abolish magic right there as the units are now trying to retreat back, adding in a Lumber Mill insult to injury here as, at, well, we need to see a Guard Tower. And he says, like, you know what? I can go ahead and build that here. All right, bunch of peasants trying to pull back here. Blood Mage in a little bit of trouble. There's a cancellation there as a bear now taking down Blood Mage. Oh, Potion of Healing, I believe. A Potion of Greater Healing right there. Keeping that alive as more guard towers are going to get added. And there goes that Lumber Mill getting canceled there at the last possible moment. We're looking at more damage coming back across. Blood Mage really needs to find a way to siphon men as the footman gets taken out once more. Blood Mage trying to go after that Beastmaster. Beastmaster just wanting to summon up some more units. And the Blood Mage is just completely shutting it down over and over and over again. As the Water Elemental is constantly getting destroyed. All right. Beastmaster seeing that level four clarity potion should be able to summon up another bear here in just a second um, will it be doing exactly that guard towers need to be upgraded as well we're looking at a damage added in level three now on the archmage level two on the blood mage that is going to be a big deal indeed as we're looking at a lumber mill now getting added and well lumber mill getting added and lumber mill taking damage from that ancient protector curious positioning right there more riflemen trying to fire back here bears getting in a lucky lucky bash there as the units are now trying to retreat back that bear just bashing its way through now may finally end up taking a large amount of damage 900 hit point bear um, as we're looking at perhaps some repairs coming in and now a scout tower here all right only doing 14 damage per attack that piercing damage really not nearly as high as it possibly could be another bear gonna get taken down as the siphon or siphon mana finally being used there now maxed out and mana here all right, need to get some repairs on that lumber mill. There you go, get siphoned mana once more. Bear, bashing bear, blinking, bashing bear. Banished, blinking, bashing bear. And coming back across as that spirit bear is just pretty much out of the fight, unable to do very much. We need to see some repairs on that lumber mill. Not quite sure what's going on again as that bear is just in that front line getting blinked back again and now we may see a Drew to the claw who thinks he's a blinking bashing bear realize that wait a second you know what it's not as easy to do what you're doing there level uh, a bear now getting taken down a second bear could get taken down as well that banish on that bear causing so many problems as another bear gets taken down 52 supply compared to 46 this is the great hold here as the beastmaster unable to do very much the peasants are just causing problems as we could be looking at a spirit bear getting blinking away, blinked away once more. All right, new bear blinking on in, trying to engage. As we're looking at, well, farm trying to get added. Four troll, shadow priest, siphon mana, archmage. Still seeing that level three has a potion of lesser in vulnerability. Siphon mana from that beastmaster. Beastmaster losing a lot of mana. Not going to be able to summon up any additional units. Rifleman could turn back around. Archmage could be in trouble. Down to 53 hit points, down to 46. Forced to use a scroll of town portal. You did not want to see... A bash onto that Archmage, causing, well, a complete reset at all. All right. Great, great push uh, coming across so far. Archers now making their way back down. Rifleman trying to make its way off to the bottom left-hand side. Very strong defense indeed. Um, as the, well, are they going to see a bunch, a bunch of healing? Um, healing, yes, a blinking to make its way back down to the south. There was really no time to set up any expansion as the Archmage and the Blood Mage are going to try and level up, perhaps get to level 4 for level 2 Brilliant Sora and level 2 Siphon mana was there enough of a delay that is the question here blood mage gets to level three grabs a book of the dead and that is going to be an interesting interesting addition as well and by interesting i do mean is that enough to really tip things in favor of kamiko um, we saw that he j just came up a little bit short in that previous engagement he could try and get a little bit further here as the beastmaster oh is invisible Beastmaster is invisible, has Book of the Dead himself. Is he going to perhaps try and put pressure on the Kamiko's completely unguarded the base? The, um, the Beastmaster is essentially a one-man army. He's able to deal so much damage. Book of the Dead followed by summoning of a bear followed by a quill beast and that's just if that's all left behind yes that's exactly what we're looking at here all right all being left behind here trying to engage once more we are looking at the four shoulder shadow priest trying to make its way back over are we gonna get some abolished magic priests are healing up those riflemen pretty consistently who's gonna win 
army or this army off here. Archmage has a scroll of healing, does not have the Book of the Dead, but we are going to be looking at the death of the Hunter's Hall. All right, more pressure pushing on in. Staff of Teleportation, Beastmaster, now joining back in on the fight, could summon in more bears, some more Quill Beast, has plenty of Moon Wells to do exactly that. There's that Siphon Mana as the, well, we're looking at the Beastmaster completely already out of mana. Back at home here, the summoned units will have plenty of time um, to deal more damage and still, as Mountain Giants are joining in on the battle, 49 supply compared to 53. However, the army of Kamiko is actually larger since there is just not that many workers. All right. And was that a was was that a blinking bear? Yeah, the spear bear blinked right there. More siphon mana coming back across. More detonation. We're looking at another bear about to get taken down. There it goes. Level four now on the Archmage. Level two brilliance aura. More siphon mana may be needed as we now go into whoa. All right, why not going in for level one a Blizzard instead of level two? No, it, oh, it was already level two Brilliance Aura. I take it back. It was already level two Brilliance Aura for extra mana. Rifleman getting taken down, and now it was level one Water Elementals, and now level one a Blizzard to try and stop those archers. Meanwhile, back here, we're looking at, well, a lot of damage getting added on. That entire mobile army being left behind as we now see thunder lizards from the beastmaster zoning out his opponent thank you for the follow as we're looking at a bear now make its way out across the field all right mountain giant may try and dive on in beastmaster with a clarity potion quill beast continuing that pressure here on the battle we're looking at blizzard raining down damage destroying everything in that night elf army as a banish following it up and making sure that it doesn't take any actual damage at all since there's only actual real um, physical damage no magic damage banish actually being used defensively as more blizzard raining down on in all right as blizzard rains down on in here gets adds in some damage one archer down two archers down and um, kamiko with that switch is it going to be enough here 43 supply compared to 46 as the blood mage still has plenty of mana and the priests still need to get trained on in all right we are getting mining once again a, a new bear and a new wisp now making its way back over we need to see some more priests or the priests are trying to do their best to stay alive but with only level two brilliance aura and so much damage on this rifleman army it is incredibly close Turning back around, it is going to be Razor's Edge here. What's going to happen? There's a scroll of healing spreading out as much damage as possible. There's more Blizzard trying to reach. Well, wear on back again as the archers are trying to make their way forward. Are we going to see what one rifleman getting taken out? Banish onto the Archmage. No, no banish onto the Archmage as Lalaet um, wins. Kamiko throws in the towel with the GG. A beautiful hold there with so much damage um, damage adding up onto the archers it just came down to the fact that well the blood mage didn't have as much mana as he wanted and it also really came down to that early early forest troll shadow priest that what well, lalayette was able to hire up um, by able by getting that early forest troll shadow priest it died Kami uh, denied kamiko his own forest troll shadow priest and then Lalaya was able to keep his own Shadow Priest alive for so long that, well, the abolished magic just constantly caused problems for that Archmage. A great, great game, a nail biter up until the very end. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.